Uh, my name is Sam Meyer uh, from Composite Approach. I'm the general manager here at Composite Approach. Uh, we make custom carbon fiber and fiberglass parts and pieces for different industries, mainly the aircraft industry. Uh, we are AS9100 and ISO 9001 uh, certified company. And yeah, we're here to take you on a tour. So where we start, uh, we start with our engineering staff. So here in the main office, our, our engineers are hard at work. Um, so we have a staff of five full-time engineers and two programmers that are also uh, do our CNC operation as well. We have three CNC routing machines, uh, one five-axis and two three-axis machines that we can do all of our, our tooling on. Um, and here is where all the thought process goes in. Um, with our engineering staff uh, programming is, is done right next to the window right here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, move into our, our CNC operating area as well. We have CNC operation going on here right now. Halen is actually making a small part on the CNC router right now. If you look this way, we actually have two more CNC routers. So a large three axis CNC router that we can cut um, most any kind of material, including metals on. And then we have a five axis over here in the corner uh, that we can do three dimensional shapes on. Um, and these are all new machines. These two machines are all brand new to us since the last time that we were on the, the Maiden Remen tour. Um, so we do composite tooling, uh, which consists of making a master. Uh, and once the master is complete, then we'll make a mold off the master. And from there, we'll actually make parts off of, off of the mold. Uh, so we do all of that in-house. Oftentimes what we'll do is we'll actually do from inception or conception of an idea through manufacturing for, for our customers. Um, so our engineers on staff are design engineers, mechanical engineers, but they're or specializing specifically in composite. Um, so how do you make composite structures? That's, that's what we do really well. Uh, and then a couple of our engineers also double up and do manufacturing engineering as well to make sure that our customers have something that is manufacturable once we are done designing with them. Um, from here, what we'll do is we'll go out onto, onto the floor and we'll do tooling. Uh, over the last year and a half, we've moved from uh, our old facility, which was about 18,000 square foot total. Uh, now we're in 21,000 feet here. And then we also have another 8,000 square foot shop where we do uh, fiberglass manufacturing, as well as we have a paint booth over there for post-processing needs that we do in-house. Out here, you can see Matt and Jason, and they're working hard on research and development projects, which are one-off uh, to, to tooling. Matt's actually working on a tool over there, which is going to become a mold for a composite part uh, that we'll make for a specific customer. So the, the detail of how we actually go about making these parts begins in engineering, then it flows out here. These guys make it into a reality. Uh, as we walk into this zone here, this is our assembly facility. Um, so we'll, we'll do most of our actual assembly here. Uh, this over here is our, is our research and development corner. So we'll do custom projects over here. Um, we've got molds that are sitting here on the floor that are getting ready to go into the layup room that we'll, we'll see in just a minute. But the molds will eventually have composite materials laid up in them. Um, so the mold surface is actually the outside surface of them. This is for a local company here in Redmond uh, called Stratos Aircraft. This is going to be their wing skins. Um, so they will be going into the, into the layup room in the next couple of days in order to get laid up and create parts out of them. Um, over here, you can see that we have full turnkey assemblies that are getting ready to go into a crate and ship out today. Um, but they are post-processed in our facility uh, here in Redmond. So the paint primer is all done here. We outsource all of the titanium machining to local companies as much as possible. And then from here, they get packaged up into a crate and sent down to the Bay Area. Uh, where they get assembled with other assemblies, major assemblies, and then, and then shipped out. These are ocean-going drones, uh, so unmanned drones that, that live in the sea six months to a year at a time. That's their normal mission. 
Um, so our assembly fixtures are all created in-house. All of the fabrication, uh, metal fab, and fixturing is all designed here uh, at our facility. So we come back out here on the assembly floor. We've got several projects that are sitting over here on the, the to be trimmed shelf. And those projects are actually for a small scale rocket. Uh, we're, we're working with a company down in California that is a, uh, working on developing a satellite launch vehicle. So over the last year, we have acquired our AS9100 and ISO 9, or 9001 certifications, which allow us to work in the aerospace industry with a quality standard. So the standards that we have right now are, are able to, to get us customers that we couldn't current low or before this time we were not able to have. Um, and the aerospace industry is, is now where we're able to play. Um, so these are, these are all new. As we go over here, you can see our processing oven. Uh, the processing oven is a 40 foot by eight foot by eight foot oven. Uh, again, since the last time that we were on the Maiden Redmond tour has, is new to us. Now we're able to make much larger parts, uh, specifically thinking of aircraft. So aircraft wing skins, aircraft uh, wing components, fuselages we can now run through the oven. So we'll, we'll go into the layup room in a minute here, but the way the material, most of the material that we work with works is it, it's fabric that already has epoxy resin already built into it. That, that's put into a mold, put under vacuum, and then it runs through the process oven so that when it comes out on the other side, it is, it's a hard part. And we'll look at the raw materials here in a minute. Um, but this is, this is where parts come out of the oven, get separated from the molds. The molds go back into the layup room, and the parts actually go onto the shelf here where they get inspected, and then go through our trim room to be trimmed, and then they get inspected on the other side again, uh, where they either go to the customer or they go to our assembly area where we actually assemble those parts for a customer. Depends on what the customer is looking for. So we go through this door right here. This is, this is our clean room. So temperature controlled uh, and, and dust controlled. So we'll go through this little locker here. We'll go into our, this is what we call prepreg layup. And prepreg means that it is impregnated, the, the fabric that we use is impregnated with the resin as we talked about before. Um, so what you'll find is you'll find this is, this is fiberglass and the, the resin is already on the fiberglass. And so what they're doing is they're in room temperature or actually in temperature controlled environment, they're applying the, the fabric to the mold surface. Once, the, once the, all the fabric and reinforcements have been applied, then it will go under vacuum bag. Uh, and then once it's under vacuum bag, it will be staged in front of the oven and then cycled through the oven under vacuum in order to produce the parts. Composite Approach and, and Ready, um, specifically John Stark, have quite a long relationship going back over, over the last several years. Um, Ready has been instrumental in helping us get to the point where we're at right now, both from funding, be able, being able to, to find funding, but also this facility. Uh, John and Brian Harris, the owner of Composite Approach, worked hand in hand to find this piece of dirt in this building in, in order to be in a location that was conducive for, for what we had to do in the way that we had to expand. Um, so Ready has been instrumental in our growth, um, but also just being in Redmond. One thing to say about Ready is that they're engaged in the community. They are working hard in order to make sure that small businesses thrive in the community. They understand what it takes to be a small business in uh, Redmond specifically, but Central Oregon. Uh, and they're working hard in order to get manufacturing jobs, specifically here in Redmond. Thank you so much for being a part of Composite Approach. Um, we thoroughly believe that the whole community is what makes a business a business. And so thank you for all who are, who are at the Tour of Redmond for being the Tour of Redmond and, and the influential positions that you all hold. Um, we appreciate you coming into Composite Approach. Thanks for uh, visiting.